We, 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 today we are reacting to Mr. Mixelix Pitalix origin. N mix, mix, Pitalix. It's about like it sounds. Hey guys, and welcome back to another character origin video. The topic at hand this time is not a very well known, but an extremely powerful villain in the DC universe. Mr. Mixus Pitalik, an imp hailing from the fifth dimension. According to DC lore, this is the dimension of imagination. Change feature. Terrific form, bad clutz. Mr. Mixus Pitalik is a devious little guy who's an annoyance at the least, and given how all powerful he is, a force to be reckoned with. Not that it would do much good, because there really cool isn't anyone who can actually defeat him. Even Darkseid, thought to be one of the strongest villains in the DC universe, is nothing but a play- Fun fact, he's a fan of Superman. He also ain't the only imp from the fifth dimension. There's also the fan of Robin, who I forget what his name was. <laughs> there's a Batmite fan. Not Batmite, there's a Nightwing fan. Who I forget who his name is. And then there's Batmite. <coughs> oh. So yeah, Mr. Mixer the Pitalix and Batmite are the two who have been around the most. Then there is Mrs. Mixer the Pitalix, but I don't know how to say her name, so yeah. Anything for Mrs. Pitalix. Before we get into our explanation, we have a very small oh, request. Fine. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. Wonder Twin Powers, activate! Don't make me see them. Don't Small click for you, that. but for us, it means an awful lot. Thank you. Wonder, Let's begin. Exploring the origins of this twisted entity. All right, so this twisted entity has some twisted origins. Going chronologically, Mr. Mrs. Pitalik first appeared in the main Superman comics back in the 1940s. However, here his name was spelled differently. The P and T were switched, so this is now called Mr. Mrs. Tipilk. Irrespective of which name was being used, there are a bunch of ways to pronounce it, and it varies across the different universes. Another interesting bit of information is that there was a publishing mix-up when he was first introduced in 1944. He was drawn and written for a comic book to be released in July. However, he was accidentally included in a Superman comic strip published earlier in February. So back to where he came from. The magic imp comes from the fifth dimension called Zrif. Words and name from this place are just weird. Don't ask me why. So in the dimension of Zerf, Mr. Pitlick, or in this universe, Tiplick, was quite focused on scholarly learning of magic. Unlike our normal dimension, where technology and science developed really well, Zerf had very high-level magic. Tiplick clearly had a gift when it came to magic because he got really good at it really fast, and this started getting to his head. Soon he went straight to the king's court, expecting a reward for being so powerful and intelligent. This is kind of important, because it explains a lot of his personality traits. He has a vast degree of arrogance. As he presented himself in court, the king, King Brooks, was really impressed. These guys never really heard of vowels before, huh? So as Tiplik impressed the king, he got the job of being the court jester. This wasn't done to make fun of him or to belittle him in any way. The king actually liked this position over the advisors and other members of the court. As time went on, Tiplik grew on his already great powers, studying and working to perfect his art. Eventually, he became so powerful that he was essentially ruling the fifth dimension from behind the throne. At this point, he got quite tired and bored with his usual everyday life. Nothing was entertaining for him anymore, and he was already the best at magic in his realm. So, on his quest to find some entertainment, he started roaming the multiverse and came across Earth. On one of his visits to Earth, he came across Superman. Superman piked Tiplik's interest quite a bit, and so he decided to have some fun with him. The imp started causing trouble for the Man of Steel as much as he could. However, in this continuity at least, Superman was able to beat him every time. It is important to note here that the magic being never really has any malicious intent because none of his pranks have any long-lasting negative influence on the general public. It's also quite possible that he loses to Superman on purpose every time so that he can keep coming- Oh awesome, he does have a thing. Not a thing with Batman, but Batman related characters. I will explain. He made the villain Calendar Man a fucking god, and then I'll bring the other one when mom comes back. Because that's a whole story. Oh. Not only did Mr. Mixelix Pilik made the Batman villain Calendar